Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Panoptic Paradigms channel. I'm Luca, we are starting a new video series. Throughout this series, we will explore various conspiracy theories. Today, we begin our journey into the intriguing world of the simulation theory. This concept blurs the boundaries between philosophy and science, challenging our understanding of reality itself. It raises the question, could our world be, in essence, a highly sophisticated simulation? As we delve into this topic, we invite you to open your minds to the realms of the unknown and explore the very essence of our existence. The simulation theory, often referred to as the simulation hypothesis, proposes that our reality, the world we perceive, interact with, and inhabit, could, in fact, be a meticulously crafted simulation. It suggests that our universe is a computer program intentionally designed by an advanced civilization or overseen by conscious entities. This theory gained significant recognition when philosopher Nick Bostrom introduced it in 2003, challenging our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The simulation theory takes various forms, but the core idea remains the same, our reality is not as concrete as it may seem. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. This is the world that you know. The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the matrix. This notion of our existence being a simulated construct draws parallels to virtual worlds we create in video games, such as The Sims. In The Sims, players intricately design and control the lives of simulated characters, dictating their every action and decision. Now, imagine if our reality operated under similar principles, with an unseen force shaping the course of our lives. While The Sims is a mere reflection of the possibilities of simulation, the simulation theory extends this concept to the cosmos itself, suggesting that our entire universe is a grand simulation crafted by an intelligence beyond our current comprehension. Now, let's take a look at the arguments supporting the simulation theory. Quantum uncertainty Proponents of the theory use the principle of quantum uncertainty from quantum mechanics as an argument. The quantum world is unpredictable and filled with random events when observed. Some argue that this uncertainty might be a result of computational limitations within a simulation. Details within the simulation are only calculated when needed, leading to the emergence of uncertainty in the quantum world. Feasibility of simulation Many computer games and simulation programs are used to create complex virtual worlds. These kinds of software are becoming increasingly realistic. Therefore, it's thought that a future civilization could create more complex simulations. If humanity is inclined to create such simulations, the likelihood of the real world being a simulation increases. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure here, where we are is real at all. This feels like a game to me. And you, you're beginning to feel a bit like a game character. Unexplained astronomical events. Some astronomical events are so complex that they can hardly fit within scientific explanations. Supporters of the theory view these events as part of a program within the simulation. For example, some observers study the peculiar distribution of galaxy clusters or the movements of distant galaxies within this framework. Values of physical constants Proponents of the theory question the values of the physical constants observed in the universe. These constants play a critical role in the nature and structure of the universe. If these constants had different values, 
life as we know it might not be possible. Some argue that these constants may have been adjusted according to the requirements of a specific simulation. 1245. Restate my assumptions. 1. Mathematics is the language of nature. 2. Everything around us can be represented and understood through numbers. 3. If you graph the numbers of any system, patterns emerge. Therefore, there are patterns everywhere in nature. Critics of the theory argue that these claims lack a scientific foundation and rely on speculation rather than concrete evidence. They emphasize that the simulation theory is largely philosophical and resides in the realm of science fiction. Furthermore, they contend that scientific methodology, rooted in observation and experimentation, is not conducive to testing or verifying such speculative claims. Another line of criticism questions the anthropocentric bias embedded in the theory. Critics argue that human experiences and knowledge heavily influence the formulation of the simulation theory. They contend that projecting human attributes, motivations, and capabilities onto an advanced civilization or cosmic entity might be a product of our own cognitive limitations. This raises a fundamental question. Are we imposing our human-centric perspectives onto the vast unknown, creating a theory that mirrors our own technological achievements and thought processes? If you are interested in exploring this intriguing theory, you will find a range of films and productions in visual media. These films have approached the topic from different angles, providing viewers with an opportunity to contemplate this theory in depth. In upcoming videos, we will examine these films and productions, offering you insights into the visual manifestations of this theory. These films can help you gain a deeper understanding of the topic and explore the theory from various perspectives. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to ponder the profound question, could our world truly be a simulation? While this theory remains unproven, it serves as a reminder of the mysteries that continue to captivate human curiosity. Our understanding of the universe and our place within it is ever-evolving, and this theory challenges us to think beyond our current boundaries of knowledge. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the simulation theory. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window, or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth.